welcome back welcome back so today I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite the best and latest settings for hyperscape that I am using so let's check it out um, so first things first you guys want to head into the settings and you guys want to make sure this setting here input smoothing is off make sure this setting is off make sure your aim response curve is on exponential increase the vertical and horizontal sensitivities to maximum as well as the zoom sensitivities to maximum so all of these are at a hundred percent input smoothing off exponential vibration off so now let's head into the advanced controller options now in here I definitely felt like we needed some extra speed because this game does have a strange look mechanic uh, generally when aiming in this game your movement in the game is very slow overall the the joystick range of movement is smaller so you get less movement for your movement so once you understand that you realize you may need some extra speed so here in vertical and horizontal advanced options we have increased the extra speed to seven now, I wouldn't recommend going over eight really probably not over seven even I would recommend going over you can start to get some negative effects but uh, you can adjust that to your preference I find that seven definitely is worth using here we have some delay and speed time you want to set these to zero make sure those are at zero right stick dead zone five left stick dead zone 15 auto threshold is at one aim assist is at 100 so these are the current settings I'm using so let's head into the zim settings welcome back welcome back so today we're going to be taking a look at the hyperscape zim settings so we are on p4.2 here global settings a thousand hertz expert configuration so let's jump into it so so far we have a hip sensitivity of 120 it uh it is more on the higher side of a sensitivity but it's not too high it's definitely needed if you want to do it quicker turnarounds in this game as the look mechanic is a bit slower we are also using synchronize off for more control over our aim in this game synchronize off does work quite well in this game definitely check it out stimulate analog behavior zero is what we are using this game zero is a great setting to use for pretty much any game it is the starting value for stimulating analog behavior but a uh, zero is the starting number for analog behavior most would consider analog behavior superior compared to the digital input of a keyboard um, I personally like analog behavior. It does uh, have a lot of benefits. So zero is one of my favorite settings to use in most games. You can use off in this game. I've I have tried it. It is a, a little bit faster, but uh, you do lose out on diagonal movements in this game when you use stimulate off. So if you try to do diagonal movement. You may not be able to do a, a diagonal movement. So turning it to zero should solve that problem. 
or higher. In this game, I am using the ultra responsive right stick at zero. That definitely gives your aim a little bit more twitchy, responsive feeling. As the game looks mechanic is quite sluggish. Uh, I'm keeping left stick and everything else here at default. Feels great. 120 for the hip. 60 for the aim down sights. Pretty controllable. Um, I'm not using smooth aim transition currently. But you guys can use or not use this. It's up to you. Synchronize off. No ballistic curves. Smoothing is on zero. No boost. No auxiliaries here. As far as the buttons, we have secondary, primary hack, E and Q, very effective. Scroll up emote, forward and back emotes, ping, four, so it's pretty effective here. Um, this is the config for Hyperscape, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Check it out. This uh, config has worked great so far. And I'll see you guys on the next one.